a big Jags fan now, so yeah. So here's the big question. What brought you guys to the slab? Why is this the spot? I well, know, well, I know some people that like to tailgate here, and it's really fun. I love it. I invited my friend here. Yeah, and so we, we've been yeah we've been here for a while, and it's really fun. I really like it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate thank it. You. Enjoy your tailgating. Yes, sir. Love it. Love it. All right. Let's let's switch over here. We got some more fans. Let's go. So. Woo! No question who you guys are rooting for. <laughs> why, why was it always the Jags? Oh, man, I mean, you know, since the beginning, it's always been the Jags, you know? I mean, you know, it's Duval till we die. We do the thing around here, the slab, that's the place. We hang out, we get rowdy, we have a good time. We just do it for the Jags, baby. It's always been the Jags. Hey, week three, 38-10, we're running it back this week. Let's, Let's go! go! Let's go, Jags! Let's go, Jags! Let's go, Jags! It's a slaughter. We're going to slaughter them, baby. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. it so much. All right. So you heard from them. Oh, look at that. You got to do well for me, too. You got to interview Gabriel right here. Gabriel? Gabriel. All right, Gabriel, come on. Let's talk to Gabriel. Everybody wants me to talk to Gabriel. How we doing, man? Good. How many Jags games you been to? Three. Three. Okay. Have they won when you've been? Yeah. Yeah? So they're going to win today. Gotcha. Who's your favorite player? Trevor. Trevor. Why is he the best? Why is he the guy? This, he's Trevor, right? You got to root for him. It's the hair. It's the, yeah, all right. Cool. Let's get a do-all from you, Gabriel. Duval. Love it. Thank you. All right. Everybody here loves it. Can't get enough Duvals over here. All right, let's take a walk through this slab. I'm going to reel this in real quick. So you heard that one guy mention it. We did play the Chargers this year, 38 to 10 in week three. So we will see if the Jags can repeat at home this time. But uh, this is a look at the slab, and we have seen all kinds of, as that one guy mentioned, shenanigans since we've been here. We've I, Fireworks have been going off, right, Taylor? We've seen fireworks. That's been kind of crazy. Um, lots of beer pong, a lot of, you know, different variations of drinking games. Everybody trying to get in the mood here before we uh, get going. Look at that, Taylor. Can you show them the, the disco lights over here? We've got some really big setups going on. And I'm always interested to see all of the, uh, the, the tailgating setups that, with like the trucks that are raised. And they got the screens in the back. They have the early games on. I think we should probably cut through here because I don't know if we're going to make it through that mob. So let's walk through this way. But you got the idea. There's a big group there. Um, and I don't know if, you, if anybody watching now watched earlier, but we were... Uh, live at the uh, the Jag, Jag and Wagon, which was uh, pretty interesting. It was like a school bus that was all teal. They've been working on it for years, and it, of course, came in handy for all these tailgating adventures. Um, pretty interesting to see that. You got lots of food out here. We've been smelling some good stuff. We got burgers, you know, and uh, lots of chicken, like wings and whatnot. And uh, been great. To, let's see what we got going on here. Got a some Mexican street corn dog going on. That sounds pretty good. I don't know if I've ever had a Mexican street corn dog. So we got those folks all set up there. Lots of Duvals. And it's it's always fun to watch the Chargers fans that there are here walking around and getting mobbed by Duvals everywhere they go, it seems like. And one guy was telling me he doesn't know what that means, but he's going to find out. There we go. There's the Duvals. So most of the folks we've talked to have been local, but we did talk to some folks that were all the way down from Indianapolis. They drove for, they say 20 hours last night? 20 hours, all the way down, packed into a, into a bus, and they, uh, just the 10 of them in a, into a little van. Um, so they really wanted to be here for this. They said that you know, if the Jags made the playoffs, they were traveling, and they'll go wherever they're gonna be at next week, whether it be Buffalo or Kansas City, they're already counting in their eggs that the Jags will win today. So. Yeah, looking over here, we got all the RVs set up, and uh, that's been interesting to see the folks here. Some folks, like we mentioned, that one that came from Indianapolis, but we've also heard from some folks who came down from uh, just, you know, the south side. They were like, well, we, you know, we have the RV. It's great for tailgating, so we bring it, even if we're not traveling that far. Oh, let's show them the Jagging Wagon, actually, while we're over here. Sorry, Taylor. Sorry to turn you around here. We just passed it, so let's just get a, one last look at all the partying going on over here. And they've got the LED screen with the It Was Always the Jags. You know, a lot of folks are very, very animated for this. Very excited. It's similar energy that we had last week. Of course, that game was crazy last week, so we're hoping for another fun finish. A lot of folks we've talked to are saying it's going to be a close one. They're hoping for a close one. So 
So yeah, you got the Jag and Wagon over here. We talked with them earlier. And yeah, there it goes, Jag and Wagon. It says it was always the Jags up there. Duval, they got the program screen. And they said that it was, you know, worth the effort to have all that there and uh, all themed out. Kind of got the Magic School Bus vibe as well. So um, yeah, have a lot of fun. Let's take another walk back this, through the slab here if we can. Um, see what folks are doing. They we seem to be a Duval attractor, I think. Let's go. With the microphone out, we seem to be attracting Duval. Oh, let's, let's, let's let this car pass. Ah, that's the risk of uh, walking and talking, am I right? So uh, let's just see what else we got going on over here. Some more Duvals. Wow, look at this. So you can see the view of the stadium. The slab's actually pretty far over, a couple blocks over from the stadium. We had to, it was a trick getting over here through all the traffic on the golf cart, but we made it and we're here and we're having a good time with everybody. And uh, let's just take one last walk into the big group here. Show you guys, some folks are starting to pack up a little bit. It looks like, you know, we're getting close to game time. So, but it's been fun. Chargers going, wow. That's, uh, Got some Chargers fans very excited. Chargers fans. So. Okay, so what's the Tara question? Lawrence you have a question? and Herbert, great quarterback. They're yeah. young. They're young, and the better team is going to win. There we go. The better team is going to win. Great matchup. Yes. We've got some injuries, and it's okay. It's okay. okay. We've got injuries, but and that's Mike okay. Mike Williams. There's been a lot of talk Who, about Mike Williams. Mike Williams is out. He's out. Yeah, and it's sad, but the Chargers have good backup. So right. we'll see. The better team will win tonight. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So we got fans that are excited from both sides here. But thank you guys for watching. Check us out at 7, uh, 7 o'clock. We'll be, have the pregame here. And then the game will be right on NBC tonight. And then we'll join you live for the post game with whatever the outcome. Obviously, it's going to be a Jags win. So thank you guys. Just keep it up for just a second. Uh, we were live. Live, okay. Yeah, but we were on, we were on, um, sorry, we were on Roku. Oh, yeah. We were doing kind of a long 